Yeah, welcome to today's episode of Family Circle on ABS Television. My name is Favor Madiebo, and the topic for today is Should Parents Choose Vocation for Their Children? And with me to talk about this topic today is John Okoha. He is a real estate agent. Thank you for having me. Okay. And also with me today is Olue Gube. Obi, she is an entrepreneur. Thank you for having me. Okay. Uh, John, can you tell us what vocation is? Can you explain it to us, what vocation is? Okay, thank you. Um, vocation is a calling or a sense of purpose. Um, you would be right also when you say that vocation is um, an occupation for which a person is suited or trained. Or qualified for. So this in a nutshell describes what vocation is. Okay. Um, Olu Ebube, do you have anything to add to this definition? I can only say that um, vocation is a strong feeling of suitability for one's particular profession. Okay. And um, is it proper for parents to choose vocation for their children? It's a yes and no thing. Um, first thing first, parents have to play a vital role in the lives of their children in the sense that the kids and the parents have to work hand in hand and the child will be able to relate to the parents by telling them what they would like to be in the future. Now for example, if a child should tell the parents, I would like to be a lawyer. Now as a parent, you have to check and know if that child will be capable to be a good lawyer. Not just I want to be a lawyer because it's a professional course. Mm. You ask if, you, you, you know if that child always stands for justice. If the child stands for justice, now as a parent, what you have to do is that you have to get necessary things needed for the child to be or become a better lawyer in future. Mm. But if you don't play that role as a parent, and maybe you just appear from nowhere and be like, I want you to be a doctor in future. Why the child say I want to be a lawyer? You see, there's going to be a conflict. And if the child be like, okay, let me just obey you as my mother or as my father to just be a doctor. So the person is going to be the worst doctor ever. That's why you hear cases of someone going to the hospital at the end of the day, you say the doctor forgets scissors or forgets one or two um, equipment in the belly mm -hmm. of a patient. But if the child, if the doctor is really his or her colleague, he says that it's going to be better. And apart from it, the, the child is going to be happy doing that job or doing that work. Okay. So, John, what do you have to contribute to what she had just said? Okay. Um, I think, in a sense, um, mm -hmm. vocation has two sides to it. And um, one, one side of our vocation has to do with the religious. That is why it is a calling. Mm. And uh, there's another side of it, which is the unreligious, okay. which has to do with other conventional, um, uh, you know, uh, workflow, say mm. career. Um, it could be uh, an example, it could be social, it could be um, uh, what other form of careers do you have? Okay, it, you, it could be social, it could be other aspect of job, it could be engineering. You know, now this this fall under the uh, uh, the unreligious uh, uh, side of mm. uh, of vocation. Mm. So um, another thing that stands out in uh, in vocation is that you volunteer too. But career has nothing like volunteer. Career has nothing like volunteer. So when it comes to choosing uh, a path for a child, it might be a no. There's a yes side to it, but it's most of the time a no. Mm -hmm. The role of a, of a parent uh, towards their world when it has to do with their career is to guide and um, advise. The reason why parents are expected or, you know, is as expected to guide or advise is because when you choose a career for a child, you're most likely living, you know, two lives living yours and living through that child too mm -hmm. so what happens to that child is that they begin to find unfulfillment yeah. 
they begin to find unfulfillment in what they are doing mm. because you've chosen a path for them. Yes. Oftentimes, uh, they, in our today's world, there's a thing as a, you know, a mental health. Mm. There's no satisfaction in what I'm doing, so mm. it is affecting my psyche. And oftentimes, again, what happens is that they begin to see these things as how you know to go about life. Mm. Whenever they have a serious, uh, when they meet a brick wall where they ought to make serious decisions for their life, mm. they begin to wait for their parents mm. because they've never had to take a serious decision in life before. Yes, yeah, on their own. And when they when when they find out again that. Um, they've actually come to a point where they cannot continue with this anymore. Mm. It takes them a long time to go back to the drawing board. Yes. Why? Because someone also has to aid them with making that decision. Mm -hmm. And if they eventually become a parent tomorrow, because mm. they've seen that as a tradition, mm. they do that also to their children. Mm. So oftentimes, the role a parent should play as a concerns vocation and career is the advisory role mm. and also stay there as a guide too. Mm, I got so it. mm. it's oftentimes a no for you know choosing career or vocational path for um, your children. Okay. Um on the Google, what in the, what's under the circumstance where a parent forces a child that you must do this, what do you think will be the outcome? Is it a proper something? Do you think it's, it's something that should be done? Well, you know, um, there is this evil adage that said, meaning that the same mother might give birth, maybe there are twins, but there is a particular trait that differentiates the two. Mm. Now, each child is unique on its own. And some of the things that make parents to, to me, I would say, impose a career on their kids is one, ignorance. Mm. When you don't know who your child is, you don't know what your child is capable of doing. You are ignorant of who your child is. It'll be like you just wake up and say, eh, let me just, I just want you to be a doctor. I, I think it will fit you, your mm. charisma, your body shape, or everything. Mm. That's not it. Then a I, I, I second one is um, personal disappointment. Mm. Maybe while growing up, like Mr. John rightly said, their parents imposed on them too. Okay. Maybe they, they 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 decide. Let's say a mother that wants to be a nurse, mm -hmm. and the parents said, "No, I want you to go and study accounting." So because he the person grows up and uh, grow from uh, that particular background, mm -hmm. the person the mother decides to transfer it to the child. Mm -hmm. Now, in this okay, let's just put it this way: the mother will say, "Okay, since I wasn't able to be a nurse." I have to impose it on my child. Mm. So it's just like the mother living her life in her child. And another one is um, what uh, was it called? Status. Mm. They will be like, uh, uh, how can chief, Mrs. Doctor, Professor, how can my child, how can it be heard that my child went to university to study early child education? If all children should delve into professional courses, who is going to be the organizers? Who is going to fix our chairs? Who is going to sew our clothes? Who is going to do all these things that people? Who is going to teach our kids in school? So they will be like, let, let my child work. I choose a course based on my status and all those things, which is not proper. Mm. It is not proper. Okay, John. I also want you to tell us what makes parents to choose this career path for their children, you know, telling them, oh, why don't you be a lawyer? Why don't you be a... Because those are the common ones. Lawyer, doctor, you know, engineer, all those, you know, I would say bing bing. I would say it's bing bing careers. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> hey. Actually, in, in, this, in this, our, in, this, in Nigeria or in Igbo land, parents normally, they like, uh, when they hear that, ah, uh, one will call a lawyer, something like that, you understand? Mm. Or one will call a doctor, you know, the, the, it makes them to feel... Yeah. big you understand so i want you to tell us what are these reasons now that is making them to be forcing their children into a career path that mm -hmm. is not that is not their intention okay. what is the actual purpose of the parents okay um i, I think is um this is uh, a no-brainer looking at our society mm -hmm. our immediate society you find out that um there is um this um rivalry mm -hmm not you know so much talked about mm. there is a competition mm. there is a um, 
you know, social strata to mm. belong to a certain class in the society. Mm. Yes. You understand? People want to introduce um, their children in mm. a social function as uh, the doctor or the lawyer or the engineer, mm. um, the, uh, the pilot, the sailor. Mm. Um, okay, fairly enough, the uh, a nurse. Uh, and of course, of course, parents mean well for their children. Mm. To be fair to parents, they mean well for their children, but it comes to a point where you have to agree that the world is moving yes. and move with that trend. Yeah. You understand? Yes. It's just uh, away, uh, 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 away from social strata, the whole uh, you know class in society, yeah. you, you know, being amongst the people of influence and affluence and all of that. Yeah. I think um, parents would really allow the children to live, yes. uh, be who they want to be, mm. do what they want to do. Mm. I mean, our parents are still yet to come to terms with you staying at home, you know, working on the system, making money. They don't know. They don't know how to really explain to someone that oh, he's into tech. Mm. But for the parents who are, you know, following this whole trend as it's you know as the world is moving, yes, they don't know how to introduce you as a forex trader. Mm. They know how to introduce it as a UI UX designer mm. because they feel the the they feel the need to begin to explain mm. when they introduce you as a UI UX mm. uh, engineer mm. or as a, a as, yes as a digital marketer or mm. as um, a front end or back end engineer. They mm. feel the need that oh this person may not understand myself i don't think i understand very well there may be need for explanation mm. but if i if i introduce my child my world uh, mm. as an engineer or as a doctor i don't need an explanation so it's usually the struggle mm. the struggle to really not explain so much but be understood okay. you know just by mere presentation mm. so i think that is one of the reasons why you know we have this you know this problems between parent choosing career and allowing you know their children to you know be who they want to be okay we'll be right back please don't go anywhere to help them to be self-employed even if after their uh, uh, studies they didn't have a uh, government to work they can be able to stand on their own then the other way around it is not good to choose for them because we, uh, the parents, some of us, are, we did our own doing uh, in analog way, but this time around we are in a digital world. These children are born versatile. They have seen many things that we did not see. So they know what they desire and what is fit for them. So at times it's not good to teach for them. It's just encourage them to move forward with their own design. It's not proper to choose career for your children because everybody has his own vision. So if parents choose career for the children, it will not go well in future for them because they don't have passion for what they are doing. So it's good for children to choose their own career so that they can be able to make and see what they are doing and then they will love what they are doing. No, I don't think it's a normal thing for any parent to choose the destination for the child. I believe the child has to, uh, has to start making decisions regarding his career so that um, if there are anything that come out of there, they can actually derive the passion if it is going very well for them. Or if it's coming from the parent, you realize that the passion won't be there and you might eventually see the child when they grow up, they start switching careers for themselves because that's not where they really want to find themselves. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Family Circle. And the topic for today is should parents choose vocation for their children? We are talking on the issue of parents having to choose vocation for their children and the effect of this on the children. Now, we want to know the negative and positive effects of parents choosing careers for their children or choosing a particular career for a child. Honorable Bubi, 
Okay, um, I'll start with the negative part of it. Mm. One is um, the child will live an unfulfilled life. Okay. The child, while trying to study the course or follow that career, is is just like a stress mm. to the child. The child is just is that's why you you hear uh, cases of people who just decide to just take their life mm. because one this thing that I'm doing is not giving me joy. There is, there is um, one of my lecturers, he, she will just come and ask us, okay, what would you like to be in the future? I say, I want to be a lawyer, I want to be... She said, no. If this type of question is being thrown to you, what you should think is, what is that thing that gives me joy? What is that thing that, even if I don't have the capital, even if I'm asleep and they wake me up to do this, I'm very happy doing it. But if it's what you are just doing, ah, let me just do it to please my parents. Ah, you see that within you, you are not happy. I, I know, I know of a guy. Uh, he, his parents told him that they will not pay his school fees if he did not study law in school. Mm. He doesn't have any option. He went ahead in studying law. At the end of the day, he bought a certificate and said, "Take this. This is you people's certificate. I'm done." He now traveled and he enrolled in second degree. He decided mm. to study nursing. Imagine the two. Mm. A lawyer and a mess, uh, a doctor. Mm. So while he was just doing it, he doesn't attend classes according to him. Mm. He doesn't even like anything about law. He doesn't, mm. but he just want to make his parents happy. Mm. That's why he decided to just uh, en enroll in that part. Mm. Now the positive part of it is that if, as a child, you are doing what is your dream career or let us say your dream vocation. Mm. You see that you're very happy doing it. Mm. I know the I, I know of, of, of a, a, a girl while in secondary school. This girl she doesn't enter class at all. When I mean at all, she doesn't even enter class at all. But there is this particular subject. Mm. Once she enters the class and write the exam, <laughs> she, she the, her least score is ninety nine. Mm. So it'll be like, how come mm. you don't enter the class? We know that this is what this girl loves doing this is her passion mm. I, I that's why i wasn't surprised that when he she entered into university she ended up being let me just say she graduated as the best student in her department mm. she studied english mm. but i didn't be like they just do it it's, it's not going to work for her so as parents once that's why i said initially mm. you need we need to start by doing the first thing first mm. if you are able to have this communication with your child. What would you like to be? It will give them this freedom. Mm. You see that they will be able to open up to you. There is one thing about our African parents. They like imposing things on you and they instill fear in their kids that instead of their, their kids will not even be free to talk to them. They like talking to outsiders. And mm. most of most times you see that those people will get wrong advice from people. All these um, terrorists are they not human beings? Are they not people's children? Mm. Now look at them, um, Felakuti. The father sent him to school to study law. Mm -hmm. He diverted and he, he ended up studying music. Mm -hmm. Now he cannot talk of legends when it comes to music without mentioning Felakuti. Mm -hmm. He has his age mates that we don't even know about them. Mm -hmm. What about Ojuku? Ojuku was sent to UK by his father to go and study law. He switched to history, unknown to his father. Now he cannot talk anything about um, South East or mention anything about South East without mentioning Ojuku. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, if if you allow them to do what is their mm. passion, you as a parent say, will end up being the happy parent. But if you impose things on them, Haba, you and I, your child, you guys are going to regret it. Daddy. So, John, what do you also have to say, you know, concerning this um, issue of um, first career and aspect or parents, um, children being disobedient, you know, Parents seeing their children that are disobedient to them because they didn't choose the career that the father wants them to do or the um, vocation that their parents want them to do. What do you have to say to that? Okay. Um, okay. Now that I'm thinking about this, uh, it, it takes me back to when uh, we did uh, study philosophy and logic in school, mm. and uh, we uh, thought that a man is a psychosomatic being that's made up of mm. body, soul, and spirit. Mm. So that goes to say that when you're training a man, a child, that's when you're training a human being in your mm. house. So there's always this quest to for them to do what they want to do. There's always this quest for freedom. Mm. 
for mm. liberty. Mm. So every child wants. I mean, when you have a child in the house and you you see them going to you know crawling to a part mm. and you want to bring them back, you, after you do that, you see them going back again. You see that from you know time immemorial, man mm. wants to be free. Man wants to be uh, you know. To, 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 to express some form of liberty. Yeah. So when a child wants to you know, chat a part, mm. it is not necessarily um, disobedience, it's mm. just that thing inside of man. Yeah. So it is now, the onus now lies on parents to actually bring up a child in the way that mm. he should go. Yes. When you're training a child, the soulish part of a child, mm. of, of a human being, mm. has you know, is, is, is segmented into four. It mm. has the mind, it has the emotion, it has the will, it has mm. the intellect. Mm -hmm. So when you're bringing up a child, you should watch these things. Just like our physical body has sensitive parts, like, mm. you know, they say the five sensitive uh, part of uh, the body is the eyes, the nose, mm. the ear, the mouth, and the palm, mm. right? Mm. So you feel from these things. So that is how the soul also feels things. Mm. So when you're training a child, how, see, see that their intellect is, is molding and shaping well. See that their mind mm. is working how it ought to be. Mm. See that their emotions, you understand, mm. is not betraying them at any point. You would know, tell the child, you take this out of emotion. You allow your emotion to be cloud in judgment. Mm. See that when they make a choice, that their will is driving them towards the right thing. That way, when a child comes of age or comes to that point where they have to make a choice by themselves, mm -hmm. you as the parents um, is not worried about the choice they're making because you know that the fundamentals, yes. hmm? yeah. you know that the fundamentals are intact. Mm -hmm. So these are the things parents should work on a child so that at that point where they are beginning to seek for certain things, where they are beginning to seek liberty mm -hmm. or seek freedom in doing certain things, mm -hmm. you're not according or uh, recording those things or uh, acknowledging those things as disobedience. Mm. So I think basically that is what it should be. Okay. So um, what advice do you have for parents concerning this vocational career path or whatever? What advice do you have to give to them, you know, between them and their children, how they should go about it? What advice do you have? Okay. You're on the part of the parents, I think, uh, or I believe that parents should. Uh, uh, pay attention. When I mean pay attention, I mean listen, and uh, also you know get to know what is going on in the real world. Mm. Get to know what is going on in the real world. See how the children are tilting to these things, and know how to guide and mm. advise. Mm. You know, be there at mm. all time. Mm. And um, maybe on the part of the children, because we are talking about parents and their and their children. Mm. And then on the part of the children, they should be open to counsel. Mm. You know, in areas where they don't know well enough, yes. and uh, you know, be open to, to speak to people about uh, mm. you know certain things, and that includes their parents too. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I think that way there's a balance. Okay, I'll do it with me. Um, parents should start early to groom their children, yeah. and then they should always pay attention to details, pay attention to what their kids do. Okay. both in school, both at home, mm. so that when they bring up the topic of this is what I want to be in future, this is what I want to do, mm. there won't be conflict. The parents will be able to agree with the child whether this decision you made is good mm. or disagree with the child. And secondly, like he rightly said, children should always listen to their parents mm. and see reasons from their own parts too. Yes. It's not just telling them no, act rightly, that getting from them to know why they made such decision and why they decided to for them to do this or why they said this is what I want you to do. Okay. Thank you very much. We have come to the end of today's episode of Family Circle. Thank my viewer for being a part of this program and to my guest John. It's nice to be here. Okay, Thank you for having me. Okay. Join us next time another episode of Family Circle. Goodbye and God bless.